continue with our introduction to working with symmetry in 3D Coat by moving from the voxel room now to the retopo room. And as you may notice, you have UV tools as well as retopo tools present in the same workspace. Now for newcomers to 3D Coat, it can be a bit confusing because you see a UV room or UV workspace as well. Just think of 3D Coat essentially as two major workstations. One for painting on a lower polygon mesh, which is your uh, paint room. Okay, and another is working in voxels. So the UV room is a companion to the paint room. Okay, so if you bring a model into the paint room to do some texture work and you want to either create your UVs from scratch there or modify ones you currently have, then you would want to use the UV room uh, to do that. However, if you're starting in the voxel room and you move on to the retopo room to apply a lower polygon mesh on top of that to bake all the details down to, then you're going to want to use the UV tools that are embedded in this workspace. So I hope that explains it a little bit. Uh, essentially what you have is almost an identical set of UV tools they're all embedded right here. You access them by going to the UV section here and clicking on any one of these three options. Okay, and now you can see the host of UV tools available to you. Okay, so now that we've got that explanation out of the way, uh, I want to go ahead and point out that when you're working in symmetry in 3D Coat, there are a couple different modes that you can work in. One is you may want to work on one side uh, as you typically would in any modeling setting and then when you're done just go ahead and copy all the uh, polygons over to the other side no problem uh, you have what's called a mirror mode and it's on by default so if you turn your symmetry plane on you'll notice you see this little preview Another way you may want to work is just go ahead and go to the retopo menu and choose apply symmetry to current layer or to all layers. Now for some reason this option is not available in the UV tools until you step out into either the tweak or the uh, basic section here. I'm assuming the reason for this is when you click on apply symmetry it's really a reference or it's a tool for the mesh. Okay, It's not really intending to uh, copy symmetry to a UV set. Perhaps it should be there but just know that you can always access it from the retopo menu regardless. All right. So again I can just click symmetry and now when I turn my symmetry plane off oops I'm sorry you'll notice that it's relatively permanent now okay so if we do a little bit of work on one side it's still going to mirror that function or that action uh, so no problem but there is a difference when you go to apply your UVs so let me undo a few times and I'll show why that's important. Okay, so if I have half of a mesh, and let's say I'm working on a game model where I want certain portions uh, of the model to be uh, basically have the UVs overlapping one another. Now the reason for that is so that you can get more texture resolution. If they're sharing the same space, you can scale it up twice as large. Okay, but if you have to separate them, obviously two will take up more space than one. So, um, again, I know it may be confusing to some uh, new users, but when you want to overlap your UVs, it's best to stay in this mode where you only have half of a mesh. Okay, so when you uh, go to your UVs and you click unwrap, you're basically going to get this. You're going to get just this one side. And that's it. However, when we now click uh, turn our symmetry on and click apply symmetry, notice what happens. Um, 
go back to our UVs. I'm going to click on an island and move it. And you notice they're overlapped now. So 3D Coat, by default, placed one on top of the other. So this really saves you from having to move them manually one at a time. So that's something to keep in mind. Again, if you want this overlapping, make sure to keep half of a mesh and then uh, turn on your symmetry plane and click, uh, I'm sorry, you can step out and click apply symmetry or apply symmetry to current layer. Okay, and so that could save you a lot of work. Now let's say you don't want that. Um, now that I've got symmetry applied like this, I, what I could do is I could re-unwrap this. If I want these to be, all the islands to be uh, on their own space within uh, the 0 to 1 grid here, then uh, let's, let's give this a look. Unwrap and you'll notice, bam. Okay, so after I applied symmetry, if I unwrap I get discrete islands. You know, very unique. They're not, there's no overlapping. Okay, to summarize, just in case I confused most of you, simply if you want to overlap your islands, then what you do is unwrap first, then apply symmetry. If you want to maintain unique islands, keep them separate, you do just the reverse. Okay, you apply symmetry, then click unwrap. Okay, so I hope that helps and see you in the next video.